So you're starting lying down. So the first thing we're gonna do is just a little bit of centering. So you're just gonna bring your hands onto your belly, maybe one hand onto your chest if that feels good. And just get my computer screen so I can see. Yeah, and just take a few breaths here. So you've just had a good workout today. Letting your body settle a little bit. And then you can try bringing your knees up to your chest. And you can place one hand on each knee and just rock your knees towards you and away from you. And it's a little bit hard to see, Marisa, and that's totally okay. Just if you have any questions or if you're not sure about anything, you just go ahead and ask. So just rocking back and forth. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, do you want to put the like tablet so that it's beside me but further away? Okay. You propped up on the chair? Sure. And you feel like it's better. Okay. And then further away. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, that, 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 yeah. No, you, you just have to find the Okay. No All right, Marisa, so you can let one leg come to the floor, keeping one knee in towards your chest. And if it feels comfortable, you can try stretching that leg out on the floor. And just see how that feels. If that's okay, you can stay there. And then doing some circles with the leg that you've still got in towards your body. And you can let go with one hand so you can make your circles bigger. That looks good. Right. And then if you bring that knee back to center, we're going to sort of play catch with that leg. So we're going to toss it over to one hand and then toss it over to the other hand and just let it go side to side. And maybe as you do this, notice how it feels in your hip joint. Just paying attention to the sensations. And if it feels like too much, anything we do, if it feels uncomfortable, it feels like too much, you go ahead and just stop doing that. Let me know. Great. And then come back to the center. Now you can leave the leg on the ground straight for this, or you can bend it again. And here you're going to lift the leg up toward the ceiling and bend it back in. So the one that you were just passing back and forth, that same leg, you're going to lift and lower. That's it. Just like that. Yeah. Right. And then if it feels okay to you, if it feels like a good stretch, and I see you are already holding your leg there, so that's great. You can hold on behind if, if you can reach comfortably. And then maybe circle your ankle around. Right. And then press your heel toward the ceiling and, and reach your heel up. Good. Beautiful. And then relax your foot and just shake that leg. Just give it a shake. And then bring that foot down and we'll switch sides. The other knee will come in. You can extend the other leg. So you can start with some circles for that knee that's up in the air, maybe letting go with one hand. So you've got just a little bit more room to move. And then you can try that passing side to side. So to one hand and then to the other hand. So coming across your body a little bit and then out to the side. Beautiful. Coming back to the center again, you can bend the leg that you've straightened or you can leave it straight. So whatever is comfortable for you and then you're gonna bend and straighten the other leg. So the one that you were passing side to side, that's it, yeah. 
And then you can leave that leg in the air, circle your ankle around. It does not have to be straight, but it could be if, if your legs will allow, but it definitely doesn't have to be. Okay, and then press your heel up toward the ceiling and bring your leg a little straighter. You can hold on or not, it doesn't matter. And just take a moment to really feel that stretch in your leg. Notice and appreciate that stretch. You can invite the leg a little closer if you want more stretch or send it a little further away if you want less stretch. Great. And then you're going to relax your foot and give that leg a little shake. Right. And then bringing that foot back to the ground, you can now take both feet a little bit wider apart. So maybe about six, eight, 12 inches, somewhere in there arms to the side, and then you're going to slowly let both knees come down towards one side and really go slowly so you can tune in when it feels like enough for you. And then come back to the center and go to the other side. So again, you're really tuning in, making sure that you stay in a comfortable range for you. A little stretch is great. If we start overdoing it, then the body tends to tense up and resist. So gently side to side. Great. And then coming back to the center, let's once more hug the knees in, give the back a little stretch after that twist. That's it. Yeah, and you can go side to side a little bit. So you're kind of massaging your back a little bit with that movement. Beautiful. Great. And then let's take the feet to the floor. And you can have your knees and your ankles right together now. And we're going to butterfly the knees open. So soles of the feet come towards each other. And then bring the knees back together. So you're butterflying them open. Your arms can just rest on the ground. They don't have to, to go open and closed. That was just to show. So opening and closing. And then if it feels comfortable to you, you could stay for a few breaths. So if this feels like too much stretch, don't stay here if it feels like there's tension. But if it feels like a good stretch, you could stay for a few breaths and really try to breathe into your belly here. It may even help to bring your hands to your belly. Now, again, if it's too much stretch, just keep going like a butterfly, open and closed a few times. Beautiful. So then you can bring your knees back together and I'm going to invite you to roll to your side and use your hand against the ground to slowly come upright. So just find your way upright, however, really it's easy for you. And you're just going to come to a sitting position with your feet apart. That's it. So yeah, feet on the floor, feet apart. And then you can use your hands behind you to support you. And we'll go side to side here. So we can lift one hip, bringing the knee down, going the other way. So similar to the lying twist, but just a little bit different. Okay, make sure you're breathing. It's so easy to forget that when you're trying something new. <laughs> did I catch you? <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Good. Let's come back to the center. So this one, I think you did lying down before, Marisa, but we're going to try it sitting up. So you're going to move one leg a little bit straighter, and you're going to lean back and bring the other ankle just above your knee, if that's possible for you. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah, that looks great. Okay. And then you can walk the foot on the floor a little bit closer to you. Oh Check in. Maybe not. Maybe you can't. <laughs> Maybe just staying there is enough. And do you feel some stretch in the outer part of, of the hip of the leg that's raised here? Um, no. 
Okay, so if you want to feel some stretch and, if, and you wanna also make sure it's comfortable for your knee here, you can bring that leg in a little closer or you can use your hands to support you sitting up taller. So you know that you've got, I, I'm pretty sure there's one hip that's a little more restricted than the other. Is that true? Yeah. The left side? That's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so on one side, it's going to be a little easier. How does that feel? Um, I think it's, I think it is easier, like lifting my right leg and resting it on my knee. Yeah. And do you, do you feel some stretch anywhere with this, with this position? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Then where do you feel the stretch? It's kind of, I feel it, I feel it on like my inner thigh kind of. Okay, great. Like awesome. the inside of my thigh. Okay, great. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to now straighten the leg that, where your foot is on the floor and bring that other foot to the floor, if you can, on the other side of your knee. Does that work for you? Um, jeez. <laughs> uh, a little bit challenging? Mm, I can actually do it. Okay. And then take your hands, interlace your fingers, bring them around your knee, and sit up tall. So you're squeezing your knee in towards you and sitting up tall. And breathe. Nice long breath. Now, which knee are you holding on to, Marisa? My right one. Okay. So I'm gonna now invite you to take your left hand, keep it on your knee, okay? Take your right hand and reach it up. That's it, good. And then you're gonna to turn towards your leg and bring that hand down to the ground behind you. So you're holding your knee with your left hand, your right hand is on the ground and you're sitting up tall and you can turn your head around to the right. And again, don't forget to breathe. And then you can release and come back to center. Great, and uncross your legs and give them a shake. Shake it out. Beautiful. And then we'll try the other side. So this side's gonna be a little more challenging for you most likely because it is the side that's tighter. So you'll take your right leg and you'll bend it just a little bit. And you wanna lean right back here and that's gonna help it make it easier to get your left ankle there over your knee. And again, you just wanna really check in that it's not too much for your knee or too much for your hip at any time. And then if when you decide or if you decide you want more stretch, you can bring that foot a little closer to the one that's on the ground, walk your hands closer Use your hands to sit up tall. And if it feels like too much, you just back off, right? You go a little further away. So you can moderate how much stretch by how close you sit to your legs or how far you sit back. How does that feel, Marissa? Feels do you good. Any stretch? Okay. Do you feel some stretch here as well? I do feel stretch. It's the same thing. It's like on my, like, Right in this, thigh. In this area here? The or your right inner, thigh, in this side, okay. Inner. Okay, great, great. No, sorry, left thigh, inner. Sorry. Okay, that makes more sense, but you know what, wherever you feel it is where you feel it, so there's no right yeah. or wrong. Totally. <laughs> All, right. Mm -hmm. All right, so then you can go ahead and straighten your right leg. Bring your left foot to the floor if you can. If not, you can always bring it to the other side. So if you can bring it to the floor on the outside, fine. If not, just to the inside. And then take your hands right around your knee and use that little bit of leverage to lift your spine tall. Yeah, that's it, great. So you're gonna keep your right hand on your knee, reach your left arm up, take a big breath in. Right, and then turn towards your left, bringing your hand to the ground. And you can look back over your left shoulder. Use that hand on the ground to keep you lifting tall.
Good. And then turn back to the center. You can stretch out your legs. And then give them another shake. Great. So we'll do one more here, which is to bring your legs in, bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees come apart. Any amount, so they might be up here, that's okay. And just like when we were lying down, you can do a little butterfly. Now you can hold your hands to support you behind you, or you can bring your hands, it looks like you're maybe holding your ankles there, that's a really nice Same, option as well. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can gently raise and lower your knees toward the ground and then towards your body, like a butterfly. And again, make sure you're breathing. So easy to forget. Great, and then let's again, you can use your hands to support you, stretch your legs out and give them a little shake. Great. So I just want to check in with uh, how that feels for your hips and legs, Marisa. It was good, I really liked it. Yeah, it felt like a, a good stretch after the work that you did already with, uh, with yeah. David? Okay. It was a nice awesome. stretch. Awesome. Okay, I'm just going to stop the recording.